man was the end of the six days work. In God's plan, the whole of the six days creation was meant for man. The tendency nowadays is to put the six days work of creation above man. Men and women are far more concerned about dogs and cats than about human beings. It is the reverse of what God made it. The whole purpose of creation in God's plan is man. There is not only the tendency to exalt animals above man, but there is the new speculation of the superman, that is, a doctrine which holds that man, as we understand him, and as the Bible reveals him, is not the climax of creation. But there is a higher race yet to be called the superman, and that man is as inferior to this being that is going to be as the ape is to him. Now all through the New Testament, Jesus Christ foretold, and the Spirit of God foretold, that we were going to have the worship of man installed, and it has begun already. It is in our midst today. We are told that Jesus Christ and God are simply ceasing to be of importance to the modern man. And what we are worshiping more and more now is humanity, and this is slowly merging into a new phase. All the quote up-to-date unquote minds are looking towards the manifestation of a superman, a being much greater than the being we know as man. Second Thessalonians 2 gives us the picture of the head of this great expectation. He is to be the darling of every religion. There is to be a consolidation of religions and races and everything on the face of the earth. A great socialism. The ethical standard for the Superman claims to be higher than Jesus Christ's. The tendency noticeable already is that people object to some of Christ's teaching, such as loving your neighbor as yourself. They say, that is selfish. You must love your neighbor and not think of yourself. The doctrine of the Superman is absolute sinless perfection. We are going to evolve a being, they say, who has got to the place where he cannot be tempted. This is all an emanation from Satan. Man is the climax of creation. He is on a stage a little lower than the angels, and God is going to overthrow the devil by this being who is less than angelic. God has, as it were, put him in the open field, and he allows the devil to do exactly what he likes up to a certain point, because God says, I know that he who is in you is greater than he that is against you. That is the explanation in our own spiritual life setting. Satan is to be humiliated by man, by the Spirit of God in man, and by poor fallen beings too, like we were, but all by the wonderful regeneration through Jesus Christ. Man is the head and the purpose of the six days creation. Man's body has those constituents in it that connect it with the earth. It has fire and water and all the elements of the life of animals, and consequently, God keeps us here. It is man's domain, and we are going to be here again after the terrestrial cremation. Hereafter, without the devil, without the sin, and without the wrong. We are going to be here, marvelously redeemed in this wonderful place, which God made very beautiful and which has been played havoc with by sin, and creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God.